Good afternoon everybody. My name's Ron Ether. I'm a gospel preacher. You say, why are you standing up on this stepladder? That's because I'm closer to heaven. I've come here to tell you the good news. But before I do that, before I do that, I've had a special request. And the request is from the farmers of Western Australia. They're not getting any rain. The people down in the country have not had any rain. And I'm asking you this afternoon if you would like to pray with me that the farmers of Western Australia would receive some rain. Especially in the wheat belt area, Ben Cubbon, and right up north to Geraldton, because of the climate change. Is anybody here interested in the climate change? Do I see a hand? No, no one's interested in the climate change. But farmers are very interested because there's very little rain and the dams are empty. And so, does anyone like to join with me? a word of prayer that the farmers would get rain this year. Is there anybody interested in the farmers getting some rain? Do I see a hand? No, nobody could care less about the farmers. No one worries. Surely there must be somebody here. What about you, sir? Are you interested in the farmers? Do you think they should get rain? Yes, so uh, would you like to join with me where two or three agree together, ask Jesus to send some rain to the farmers. Are you prepared as a man to agree with me? You've got to go. Is there anyone else man enough to stand here and while I pray? I'm going to pray anyway. It's not going to make any difference. I want the farmers to get rain. Did you know farmers are very important in the Word of God? In the Word of God we read about farmers sowing seed. How we have to sow seed as well. What about you sir over there with the ice cream? Would you like to agree with me? I need two people. Two people to come and agree with me. To pray for rain for the farmers. Because of climate change, because the human beings have mucked up the climate and the ozone layer. What about you lady? Do you want to come and agree? I just need two people to agree with me to pray for rain. Surely at Fremantle we have some Christians around here. I could be here all day and then I'll have to pray just by myself for the farmers. Everyone's just interested in fish and chips. The Bible says that in the last days, people will be lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God. What about you chaps here? We're looking for someone to come and agree with me to pray for rain for the farmers. The dams are empty and they've got no rain. Okay, I could be here all day by the look of it. Not that it matters, people don't seem to care about the farmers. <laughs> okay, I'll just wait a little bit longer. Okay, now we're going to get back and we're going to... Oh, I want two people to come and stand with me to pray for rain. The farmers, all their dams are empty. What about you, sir? Are you a Christian? Can we have a couple of Christians, please? Two more Christians, surely at Fremantle. What about you, sir? Do you want to come and help me pray for rain for the farmers? Surely there's someone interested. The farmers, their sheep are dying. Their cows and cattle are very thirsty. Surely there must be somebody in Fremantle who would like to pray for rain. What about you, sir? Would you like to pray for rain? You're a Christian, come here. Come and pray for rain. We have one Christian here. You are a Christian. Are you going to agree? I'm going to pray. 
Yep. I've got one. I really wanted one more. Can you just wait a little minute? Uh -huh. We want one more Christian. Bring the family. Come and stand here. You're a Christian, are you? I am, I am. Yeah. Okay. So do you believe that when you pray, God answers prayer? Yeah, of course. Of course. Sure. Of course. Amen. You are a lovely family. <laughs> because out of all these people, I could not get anyone to agree to pray for rain. So I've got I've got two people and a little child. Okay, I'm going to pray that the farmers, because of climate change, are not getting any rain. We're going to agree. You're going to agree with me. No, I agree with you. And we'll agree with God in heaven, who made the world. He made the rain. He made everything. He made you and me. And when we die, where are we going to go? Heaven. 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 <laughs> without a doubt and you'd be a fool to choose the alternative wouldn't you okay let's have a word of prayer jesus we believe you have all power all dominion over the whole earth you made the earth and all that are in it and i just now pray for the farmers the farmers who have not been getting any rain to send the rain and that they will send me they will write to me to this address uh, where is it? Passport to Heaven, Post Office Box 248 Armadale, and they will tell me how much rain, how much water they need for the next three years. Okay? So when they write to me, I will pray over that, and no matter how much rain they, they want, if they say I want six inches of rain or ten inches, whatever they say, that's what the Lord will give them. Do you believe that? Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. <laughs> so we're no longer going to put up with drought. They've had droughts over east for, for three or four years, but nobody would go out and pray for rain. They just suffered it. Animals died. Animals perished. But we believe that God can send the rain. So this year, this is going to be a good crop because they're going to send send a, one, send a, a self-addressed envelope to this address and they're going to put in how much rain they want because you know you can get too much rain <laughs> we've, we've had floods yeah, we don't want them flooded out so they all know how much they want okay so that's agreed in heaven thank you very much god bless you i'll see you in heaven if not before <laughs> Okay, lovely Christian couple. So at Fremantle, there's always somebody who's prepared to stand up for the Lord.